Hi everyone, so I'm going to share with you one of my favorite moves, which is uh, feathers. I came up with this just after CardistryCon in Brooklyn. So after the event, I was inspired to play with my cards every day, and this is what came out of it. So it's a three packet cuts with, I think, new grips, at least for me. So I'm sure that you can find ways to improvise because I came up with a few uh, closers for it and I'm sure we can take it in many diff different directions in the middle of the cut. I'm actually trying to do a five packet cut out of it but it's not good enough. But I'm sure you guys can find some new ways to change the flourish and create some good variations. Um, one more thing I would like to, cr to credit Chris's Nest for this because the opener is something that I found in paper cuts and I built upon it to create feathers. So I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to show you first some performances and then I'm going to talk over the explanation so I hope you understand even if I have a very strong French accent uh, and I wish to see you perform this move. See you! feathers you have to start with an inverted Z grip so instead of a front Z grip like so you're going to do a Z grip at the back on your left thumb like this so to do this you first split the packet on the on the back with your right thumb like this and then split another packet with your right middle finger on the front like this that this happens together at the same time. Okay, once you're here, you're gonna rotate everything uh, towards the bottom around your left finger, your left thumb, like this, like so. And you're also going to rotate this bottom packet with your index finger vertically, like this. So it's going to create an opening for your left pinky to contact the short edge of the middle packet. Okay. Then you're going to let go with your left thumb and rotate the top packet back. Now all the action is going to be done basically by the middle packet. So once again you do a z-grip, rotate around your thumb, rotate there, insert your pinky and let go with your thumb and rotate. Now you're going to rotate this packet clockwise around your right middle finger, like this. Of course at one point the middle packet, it's the corner who's going to reach the middle finger and you have to switch edge with your middle finger. So it's the packet who's going to move, not the middle finger. You're going to clear the, this corner and then switch to the long edge. So this will happen Thanks to your ring finger here, the right ring finger, it will contact the corner of the packet with the tip of the, of the finger to create sort of a, a gap here for the packet to, to swivel. It creates a kind of inch for the packet to, to go inside and not fall on the floor. Like this. Then you're going to use your left ring finger and contact the long edge of the packet and you continue the movement. So, also one, one tip to be able to do this, you will notice that at the beginning, probably, when you try to do it, the, these two packets will clash into each other. But you want the middle packet to go on the bottom of the top packet. So how to do this? When you're using your ring here, here you also push a little bit down, so it creates, it, it, it creates some direction for the middle packet to go underneath the top packet. Here, contact here, use your ring, continue the motion, and this is where the middle finger is going to clear the corner. So you're going to basically let go with your left pinky, this one here, you're going to let go, and continue the move with your ring finger only, like this. 
I'm going to try and do it without the top packet so you can, you can see clearly what's happening. So I'm here, set my pinky here, support with my ring. The left ring finger going, is going on the long edge and then you clear the corner and rotate around. Now I use my index as support here to mimic the fact that there is a top packet. Actually the top packet is also here the support to guide the middle packet during the rotation. So contact with your ring finger, ring finger here also. Rotate around and clear the, the corner with your middle finger here. Let go with your left pinky and continue the rotation. Once again, I try to do it slowly. Like this. Now, I'm doing it again with the top packet. So, Z grip, rotate, insert your pinky, let go with your thumb, rotate the top packet again, go clockwise, use your right ring finger as a support here to create the hinge, contact the long edge with your left ring finger, continue the rotation, let go with your pinky, and continue like this. So you notice this finger, the ring finger here, goes from there to there. When the packet is clearing the corner on the middle finger, it is also sliding along this finger, the ring, the ring finger. Here notice the ring is at the bottom, up and slides during the motion. Now once you are here, you're going to repeat uh, rotation again, but this time this packet is going to go on top of this packet instead of on the bottom. So you're going to replace your left ring finger by your pinky on the long edge and continue the rotation. Once again you're going to use your right ring as a support here to create an inch, like so here, so that the packet can go inside. Just there and transfer with your pinky. Now push, continue the rotation and here you are going to grab the packet back with your ring on the short edge for two reasons. It's going to square up the packet and it's going to help you to push the packet and continue the rotation. Here transfer and grab back to square and push here on the top of this packet. You're going to grab it between the packet and between the nail of your right index finger, like so. Now all the difficult part is done now. So, so far it looks like this. Now you're going to do a, a third rotation using still in the same, um, in the same direction and you're going to grab this packet on the long edge with your, with your left thumb. So you grab here, rotate around your right middle finger, still with your index as a support and as a guide. Continue the rotation and here once again for a third time you're going to use your ring to create this little gap, this little pathway here for the, for the deck as a support. Once, twice and another time here. Now here you really clap, uh, clip the packet in between the two fingers and you're going to basically rotate it face up using two motions, one from this end, you're going to basically push the packet towards the, the other hand and your thumb is going to bend a little bit to help this, for, uh, to help this happening, like this. So with, when you do the two together, you'll notice that the packet will go face up and rotate also a little bit. And then it will, the, the back of the packet will end up on the nail of your thumb. Here, like this. Now what you have to do is rotate this end from here to here and you're going to use these three free fingers from your left hand to grab this packet. 
But basically, you're letting this packet fall into place like this. Once, twice, three times. Rotate up and let go this packet. So basically, you contact with your pinky, let go, and it ends in this position. Sort of a straddle grip a bit, but except that you're not actually holding it with your index, it's, it's just resting on the packet you're already holding. Now to close, you're gonna first rotate this packet vertically to bring your thumb towards the bottom. And I'm gonna show you what, what this uh, closer look like without the top packet. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring this packet perpendicular to this packet. It's quite easy. Just have to rotate this packet with your thumb like this. And you see it's now perpendicular sort of to this packet. And you're basically gonna grab these two packets as one in between your right thumb and ring finger. You're gonna let go with your index here and grab them together like this. So when you have uh, the other packet in hand, it looks like this. Right here, rotate there. Prepare this packet for in, in a perpendicular position. And let go with your index and at the same time grab them together, like this. So you end up in this position. Uh, you have one packet here and one packet here face up. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna position your left hand like so, like so here with your thumb, and you're gonna rotate around, uh, not f away from you, like this. And you're gonna grab this packet in between your thumb and your index finger. And at the same time, just after you grab this packet like so, you're gonna reach with your ring finger underneath to, to clip the packet in between the two fingers like this. And you're basically going to do some sort of turnover like, like this. So you're like, you're like this, you grab, rotate, here you put your ring, and you do a turnover, and you continue to close like this. So I'm gonna do a slow motion. Of course, if you, if you practice and then you gain speed, with the momentum and the inertia, it's gonna be more and more fluid. So you see here, when you go slow, the car tends sometimes to miss a line. The twist, and here also, the, the closing is not so clean, but when you go a little bit faster, it gets better. Alright, I hope you enjoyed.